my god look at that right there this this right here this this is my favorite shit. corner store black and white tees these are good for like two wears minimum once you wash them twice they're completely disintegrate and they just fade to, to but they got the corner store tees the throwaway tees on there man pindeo <laughs> Oh, sorry i'm sorry bendeo cerveza that's a funny ass name for a beer <laughs> oh rockstar you're so good with these references man the biggest game of all time was finally revealed grand theft auto 6 got an official trailer that dropped i was out of town i was actually coincidentally in miami <laughs> visiting family being a florida man oh this feels good this feels very good the fact that they're going back to vice city back to florida it feels really special with me especially with the fact that i grew up there and spent about 28 years there it's gonna be an awesome playground for me this florida man is ready oh this florida man is ready <laughs> The whole world tuned in for this reveal, even though it was supposed to come out today. Uh, a leaker apparently forced Rockstar's hand yesterday to just reveal the trailer flat out instead of premiering it today. But no sweat because they were they've dethroned Mr. Beast 24 hour. I think it was like 70 million views in a video. They hit about 95 million in the first 24 hours. I think BTS Dynamite still has like the 101 million mark. But Grand Theft Auto 6 is like trailers is going to keep on going. Like it's just nonstop. I mean, if we look at it right now, hold on. That's just nasty right there on Rockstar's channel. The most viewed video on there is the Grand Theft Auto 5 reveal trailer, which has 100 million views over 12 years ago now we're looking at the grand theft auto 6 trailer and just yesterday it was revealed and it's already at 97 million that is <laughs> this game is gonna be crazy but i wanted to check out this trailer with you guys and go through it slowly and dissect things a little as a florida man myself i feel like there's gonna be some great things that we can discover together and also if you missed out on i can show you guys and if you're looking for more Grand Theft Auto 6 coverage, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates and help raise that 38% only subbed even higher. Now, that being said, let's get into this trailer. So looking at the first shot here, we got Patriot Beer, a little truck over here towing that. That is uh, obviously a Sam Adams reference. Uh, another thing that I noticed besides the airplane in the top, in the back, it looks like the Bayside Bridge. This is a bridge that's right between the Miami Heat Arena. It's not in South Beach. It's outside of it. It's like more of the, the downtown area of Miami where the Miami Heat play and also where Bayside is, where a lot of people can go and enjoy like food, drinks, music, and uh, ride on boats that they have there to charter people around. This is Lucia, the, the main protagonist, I would assume, since they didn't really give the other guy or mention the other guy's name. Leak said that his name is Jason, but this is Lucia, who I assume we will be um, controlling most of the game one of the main protagonists she seems to be in jail and is on her way out of there we're looking at a shot of uh, south beach right here if you go a little closer you'll see this is actually an advertisement this is pretty funny nine nine why 69 when you can nine one nine <laughs> this is uh, a reference to club 11 it's actually even like the same logo hold on let me pull that up real quick right here the logo like the two L's are the ones. I mean, it's a pretty popular space. A lot of people go there. I've never been there personally, but I don't give a shit about those clubs, honestly. But it seems like that's actually funny as hell. 919. <laughs> this is a little random high ride. This could be like Midtown Miami. Everglades. I think that's Lucia and maybe uh, somebody else that we're tagging along in this mission with. Um, good thing she's not sitting up here with her hair flowing into the, the airboat wind. But the Everglades. You know, you can't have a game, a GTA game, especially like, you know, based in Florida without featuring the swamp. Oh, and a better shot of it, actually, too. So this is uh, really dope. You can see all the flamingos, all the wildlife. There's a lot of wildlife. I mean, specifically, look at these alligators right here. These aren't crocodiles. These are gators. Pretty sure they're going to have crocodiles like in the game. And then like, you know, you go to the beach right here. This is South Beach. Look at all the NPCs, man. I mean, God everybody looks so damn good and there's so many activities and stuff going on here there's a dude right here <laughs> recording some social media video for his uh for his chick i mean loading jet skis into the water right here this pink hotel right over here off to the side uh could be a direct reference to something on south beach but this shot is also very reminiscent of like if you go to fort lauderdale beach on fort lauderdale beach there's a pink hotel resort i think it's called like the pink flamingo or something like that 
that's actually like on this side it's not that but i'm just it just reminds me of that of course not a single npc in this shot at least like mirrors the same look as someone else everybody has everybody has a different outfit on everybody looks different it's gonna be i would imagine like with grand theft auto it's been a number of years since cyberpunk has come out that technology that they're gonna be putting into this to make sure that npcs like stand out from all the others and just have a very like <laughs> main character style design and attention to detail that's definitely going to be apparent here in Grand Theft Auto 6. And over here, we got the uh, the port of Miami where all the cruise ships be taken off. You can see another airplane in the distance and the bridge again. <laughs> this is so cool seeing this, man. I've dropped off so many family members here to go on cruises. Oh, this is probably, this actually could be a mission. Maybe this is like a, a cinematic shot of a mission that we um, can uh, partake in later on. BT and Delmar, I have no idea what that is because just could be a random like uh, boat name. Is that Lucia? I can't tell, honestly. Could be, maybe not. Let's see the signs. Uh, Kelly County, Vice City International Airport, Stockyard, uh, Downtown. And this is the Miami Heat Arena. This is the American Airlines Arena right here. I mean, this is exactly like, you know, when you're crossing over that bridge and you're going towards South Beach, you, this is what you see right here coming down Biscayne Boulevard. Nah, I don't think that's Lucia. Ooh, and this is Wynwood. Uh, Wynwood is like the midtown, like art district of Miami. It's pretty cool. You can go there and there's always something happening. There's uh, one, there's a really cool, like soft serve, like ice cream, like food truck there that I always like look for every time I visit. But uh, it even says it right here. You can see wood in the name. I doubt it's going to be called Wynwood. I mean, Grand Theft Auto is a parody of the USA. So they try to just uh, keep the names like sort of similar, like references right to it. But look at all these like custom vehicles right here. This is going to be so sick, like actually getting to customize each of our cars. And whenever GTA like 6 Online comes up and maybe we could host our own car meets with, with the community. That was that's going to be a hell of a good time. But definitely Wynwood is a popular place to go around. Make it rain Mondays. This is clearly a strip club. Uh, I don't know which club this is. I doubt I mean Tootsie's is closed down. This could be like maybe K, a KOD reference or just could be, uh, you know, standard like strip club. Damn, the hair, the detail and everything here looks so good. You can see the pores. You see the pores, the acne scars and stuff. The tattoos look really nice. Even the detail on the rope chains. Uh, this looks like one of those like private islands that you can like kind of like drive through and like where the, um, people people live on like $20 million homes. This is a toll booth right here, I just noticed. <laughs> Get a little toll booth right here. I think else really jumps out at me right here, but it's like if you go through Miami, there's all kinds of different like bridges that lead you out into like mini islands that interconnect with each other and different yachts and stuff that are passing by this is a very i mean if you visited south beach before you've definitely seen this this is clevelander it's not called clevelander this is called uh, ocean view hotel which is probably like a reference for vice city i wonder if there will there will be some tommy for um references i mean most definitely vice city was a very iconic game especially when it came out that soundtrack was a banger all these cars are legit like this definitely looks like a porsche it's definitely is a ferrari but it's not the ferrari logo like they're gonna keep like <laughs> they're gonna keep like switching things up it's not gonna be the same names of course maybe changing things uh hotel dixon you see this right this is actually hotel victor so i think two or three buildings over after clevelander is hotel victor which has been in miami for a really long time even the font is exactly the same hold on let me see if i can google that for y'all real quick hotel victor you see the font right here on the front of it like it just it looks very very similar uh yeah there we go on this side the side of the building right isn't that exactly like a reference to that right oh yo this dude has an iguana on his shoulder these girls like yo get the fuck away from me bro what's also not too far from this i think it's a little bit more south is um the versace mansion versace mansion was well versace's mansion but they turned it into a restaurant you could actually go there i've gone a couple times with friends you got some pretty good food i had some really fire lamb there one time when i went and then when i went a second time they removed it from the menu so it's constantly changing and then the last time i had went they were filming the american like true crime story i think they were doing a season on the versace murders and uh at the time there was like so much people there it was kind of crazy but i imagine there'll probably be some missions and opportunities there to hang out because it's a pretty iconic spot that's been around since the 90s and one could assume that this game is taking place in current times maybe 2025 itself right this club initially this club like when i first saw it i was thinking maybe this is uh mangoes this could be club space could be even uh 99 or 99 the 11 reference uh mangoes is also on south beach it's hard to say what this could be 
and Mangos is an interesting club when you go inside of there there's like eight different rooms all on different floors and each one is playing like different music depending on the, the night that you go to there's all kinds of different vibes that's going on in there this is yo key west this is key west guys like this is the uh the train bridge have you ever seen true lies true lies has a really awesome scene there with the helicopter where arnold's like reaching down and grabbing jamie lee curtis uh gta 6 online when that does drop i will be trying to recreate that scene i hope you guys will be uh <laughs> we're gonna be my jamie lee curtis as i pick you up from the helicopter i doubt the seven mile bridge is going to be actually seven miles they're going to obviously speed things up because in a video game it just i mean it's just annoying to have to like <laughs> to take that long to get somewhere so i imagine like these things will be di direct references but easier to like you know just pull up and and uh get to an experience whenever you have no name key and duck key island still oh this is like a random like rooftop party in miami vice <laughs> oh yo i saw this this is this is really cool man this is like clearly like a sugar daddy right here it's like little sugar babies but like the dad bod squad this is like their uh so this is like some type of like instagram maybe like a uh, TikTok type of uh, social media thing. But what's really dope about this is that with GTA 6 Online, you know, Rockstar has always been crazy innovative with their games and like pushing the bar as far as like features and all that stuff goes. I wonder if this social media, which will obviously be, be a big focus in the story mode campaign, if when GTA 6 Online comes out, will it also have and feature a fu fully functional social media like platform that we can access and use in game and communicate with other other people like on the server <laughs> that would be fucking crazy that'd be so sick just looking through all of these things man the official poach uh, stay alert vc remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party dude pulling out a uh alligator out of the pool and these are all direct references to things that uh like memes and shit that have come out of uh, florida have a vice day Someone called the Department of Transport on this dump truck. <laughs> a little car meet right there. This is uh, an IG live, it looks like. Uh, this could be a video right now. It says the best song right now. All the time coming, really. We out here. Uh, finish with the block with this one. I wonder if this is like a City Girls reference. <laughs> Crocodile going. <laughs> That's a big boy. Nah, bro. I don't know why you just standing there, man. I would have I backtracked over there hit zigzags. Got police body cam footage right there. Planet Leonida, man. Oh, and that's another thing. So Vice City is Miami, Miami City, like you know, in in Florida, and it's not called Florida. It's called Leonida, which is a really cool reference because Ponce de Leon, he's the, the the explorer that discovered Florida. So instead of calling it Florida, they're calling it Leonida, and I think that's a really really dope, really dope reference right there. Yeah, you usually gotta hit the strip club to see jiggle like that for real. <laughs> It's a Sonico gas station reference. Oh, I kind of want to go back. Let me see. What are these signs? Oh, Vice Beaches, the Keys. You can go to the Keys from this exit to the 404. Uh, you can go east and west. And also the other way will take you to the airport and back to Kelly County. I wonder if Fort Lauderdale will be in here. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Yo, if Fort Lauderdale is featured in this, I would imagine it'd be like the Hollywood, Florida area where like the hard rock guitar and like the casino and the hotel will be. I feel like that could be included. Maybe instead of it being a guitar, they do something like other something else, maybe a giant drum or another instrument. That, that would be a really cool reference. And also like these random billboards, like you see these all the time in many states of course but like florida has a lot of like law and like uh, uh a law and uh lawyer related financial related billboards r.i.p rudy see you in heaven cuz yo my man real billy oh this is a meme this is a meme the, the lady with the double hammers <laughs> late neighborhood watch don't play around in hamlet <laughs> what, what area is hamlet gonna be is that like hialeah Wait, what was that? It cures emotions, like some funny ass, like depression pill or something like that. Angst pan, yeah. <laughs> America's favorite dis disassoci disassociative. And yo, these are the exact colors of uh, BSO vehicles, the Broward Sheriff Office, too, like the green. In Miami. Wait, what did that say before? No overturning zone. Cops arrest man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's Dining Dash. <laughs> weasel news uh oh this says uh confession was um <laughs> they're able to arrest this dude basically because the confession of like 
the crime he committed was like tatted on his neck that's dumb that's got i i don't think i wonder if that is an actual reference to something but that looks hilarious <laughs> we're gonna see all kinds of dumb like florida related shit happening here dirt bikes hello uh, whoa 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 i missed that dirt bikes through the, through the neighborhood dirt bike dirt bags coffee little stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing vice city okay that's gonna be a recurring thing or car meets a high rollers lifestyle look at all the custom cars who hurt you <laughs> this is like an accident lawyer law firm uh, <laughs> i swear right now on the turnpike right after you pass the 595 in fort lauderdale there's actually a sign with the same exact font same exact color scheme and everything like that who hurt you <laughs> So it's the protagonist like walking through the uh the, the the liquor store which they're presumably robbing piss washer making a return from gta classic we got all kinds of like alcohol or like, vodkas and stuff on the on the on the shelf some sodas over there oh my god look at that right there this this right here where's my freaking hand right here this 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 is my favorite shit corner store black and white tees these are good for like two wears minimum once you wash them twice they're completely disintegrate and they just fade to to shit but they got the corner store tees the throwaway tees on there man and they fit really well too are they still five dollars though i doubt it with all the inflation pawns and guns looks like they're getting away after robbing it wait whoa whoa whoa, whoa. was that like a what is it dsw like warehouse shoes or some shit like that whs we have shoes no it's much more simpler than that <laughs> and uh clearly there there are a couple right here i can actually play this part because i think there's no music coming through here trust trust they got each other trust they're over here uh some i wonder if something's gonna happen if maybe we play as both of them Maybe something happens, he betrays her, she gets arrested, and then we, she meets other people, and then we, like, the revenge story is, like, through that. There's actually a lot of references right here. Uh, check it out. Petty Forever, like, Tom Petty's song in the trailer. Uh, more Logger Light <laughs> advertisements. Hey, Thaw? This is White Claw, so instead of White Claw, it's a Thaw. <laughs> That's funny. Pindale? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Bendeo Cerveza. That's a funny ass name for a beer. <laughs> oh, Rockstar, you're so good with these references, man. And GTA 6, man. I just, I love this trailer. When people were complaining that, oh, it's only going to be 90 seconds. Like, this is a banger of a trailer for 90 seconds. They did a really fantastic job with such limited time. Coming 2025, I'm okay with waiting because. 2024 rebirth time you guys know me i love final fantasy 7 i want to see rebirth get its shine and all kinds of other games uh rip to whatever games are coming out in 2025 uh you know gta 6 there's no way that's losing game of the year uh we might as well just skip that one. <laughs> oh man this might be a gift and a curse because a lot of, i can see a lot of devs like pushing their games back i'm joking i'm joking, I'm joking. they're not gonna do that they're not gonna do that it's such a great time man and like Shout out to Rockstar, dude. Every single time we see Grand Theft Auto, it's always pushing the bar in so many ways. And they're taking it a whole other level with these graphics. Like a lot of this stuff, like you could actually look at this and a lot. Initially, you would not be able to tell this is a video game. Just looking at it, it's so realistic. Like, look at me. They even got the seaweed and stuff on the on the sand. The annoying guy's seaweed, <laughs> which is a problem on the east side beaches of florida you know you got to go to the west side beaches now man it's just it's so hectic can't even enjoy fort lauderdale or like miami beach oh i just realized this dude recording her it's probably for like a music video right here oh uh, shout out to ign guys here's some references from uh very real moments <laughs> and strange like florida moments this is the hammer lady right here well look oh let me uh mute that real quick hammer lady there's <laughs> dude pulling the uh the crocodile out the girl twerking on the car <laughs> oh that was in orlando what i had no idea that was that was in orlando <laughs> it is real <laughs> yeah, oh my god that's just so stupid <laughs> the real billies wow she even like looks oh god i misclicked she even like is uh wearing like the same top such a direct reference man and this is a regular thing well, not the crocodiles like roaming the city, but I'm just talking about like just people like 
you know atving and like dirt biking on the road it's too way too many of them the cops can't really do much about it so it's always like pretty fun to see when you're just chilling at a random stoplight and then you just see like a good like 80 people on atvs just zooming on by and cops following them slowly waiting for somebody to just slow down maybe slip up and then they can catch them and blame them for the whole thing <laughs> I do gotta say the most disappointing thing about this i mean i'm not really bothered about the the release dates but uh the fact that there is no mention of the pc version there is only mention of the current gen consoles playstation 5 and xbox uh if it's anything like what happened with grand theft auto 5 they're gonna release it on the main consoles first and then the following year they're gonna release another like uh complete edition of grand theft auto 6 with maybe like the first person like you know what what 5 did a first person and third person like swappability mode and the pc version drop with that what a fun time man what a fun exciting time a gta game releasing is a worldwide like occasion that everybody will stop what they're doing to just experience it and of course they're gonna give us some time with the the story mode i would imagine before gta uh online like drops for this and gta 5 it's online role playing like mode has transcended everything like it's the big it's one of the biggest consistent categories people stream on like twitch and even like youtube and make content from there's just so much to do and i feel like they're gonna take that even further with uh gta 6 it's it's looking super realistic the whole social media like aspect is such a big focus on it right now that i think that regardless of uh, uh, of how it exists or like whenever it does come out man this is going to be without a doubt the biggest game of all time for multiple years at that because uh i can't imagine them dropping the online mode initially with this i feel like they'll give us some time with the single player stuff and then when the online mode drops and pc version drops and we get those role-playing servers going it's just gonna have a non-stop good five years of dominating the top of the leaderboards when it comes to traffic and the amount of people playing experiencing and enjoying this i want to hear from you guys below in the comments what was your favorite part of the trailer what did you notice that i missed and what uh other interesting things has come up for grand theft auto 6 i'm gonna be dropping more videos on this the more news and updates that we get we're gonna be getting stuff slowly and of course yes it does say 2025 but remember uh in about three weeks it's gonna be 2024 so we have a little over a year it's not necessarily two years of a wait a little over a year and that time i guarantee you will fly by very quick because we got non-stop bangers of games that came out this year for us to enjoy and the same thing is happening next year 2024 is looking to be jam-packed already comment below let's get a discussion going be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more grand theft auto updates are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching